Salam and good day all, this is Tequila29, back again for a Rainbow Preston comic, Future State Fool's Gold Review. And this time we are returning with the Future State Superman vs. Imperius Lex, Issue 2, and Legion of Superheroes, Issue 2. As you can see to the left hand side, I show my rating system and I rate the cover, the art and the story and also the currency conversion to which I also give how much I think the stories are worth. So time to get started on Superman vs Imperius Lex. Now seeing that both comics are the same price in Australian dollars that's $7.15 I will be pointing out how much I think the cover is worth, the art is worth, as well as the story. So, starting off with the cover, do, do I think that the cover really worked as a story? Well, surprisingly enough, it actually did, because it helped bring across something to which Lex was trying to make Superman to be. So, I'll now move into showing the beginning middle and end um, in regards to the art starting now this is some of the art at the beginning some of the art at the middle and finally some of the art at the end all right for the cover i gave a six out of ten to which i believe it's worth a dollar twenty-five for the internal art. I actually really enjoyed the internal art and what the script was done in relation to the story. To which I gave it a seven out of ten. To which I believe it is worth a dollar fifty. Moving on to the story. In this second part of the story of. Superman vs. Imperious Legs. It continues from the last issue, moving into this issue, to which we have Lois Lane, Clark Kent, who is also Superman in this. Um, Lex Luthor, of course, that's on his own planet, which is now called Lexor. And... Clark Kent goes out of his way to sort of like investigate one of Lexor's moons. To which he discovers a bit of slave labor happening there. And it was really interesting, but one thing, these uh, slaves enjoy their labor. <laughs> and call Superman out to be a villain. And I think that's really good as it brought across how Superman, um, how Lex Luthor views Superman within the story. To which I gave the story a rating of 6 out of 10, to which I believe it's worth $1.25, giving an overall total of $4. My goodness, um, big improvement from the last issue. I felt like I was able to follow along a little bit easier within the story. And there's just one more issue left of this to cover. So time to move on to the Legion of Superheroes. As we move on to the Legion of Superheroes, which is done by Brian Michael Bendis and Riley Rosmo on the art. Does this cover actually help with the story? Not really. So let's move into the next thing straight away. Let's have a look at the internal art covering the... Beginning, middle, and end. This is the beginning. Quite a bit happening with the art here. I must admit, um, Brian Michael Bendis and Riley Rosmo are probably best kept together in the art piece of what is before you. Now, if you really want to pick up some really great Michael Bo Ryan Michael Bendis, check out his Jinx World titles, don't check this out. 
I'll, I'll now move to some of the art around the middle. And now finally I'll move to the end. And this is the end of it. Now, moving into the cover rating, do I feel that the cover helps accentuate of what was actually happening within the story? Not really, because the story felt like it went nowhere. <laughs> it, it was just a nowhere story. And it was pretty disgraceful um the story could have at least had some plot been a little bit more clearer especially in regards to the cast of characters um it didn't feel like it addressed the characters or let alone respected any of the characters and uh, i'd probably imagine riley rosmo doesn't even like the characters either so he made sure that Brian Michael Bendis didn't point out who was who in the story. To which it made it really annoying within the story. Because I like to know the characters that I'm seeing within the story. So this is where I gave the cover 0 out of 10. The internal art 5 out of 10 to which... It's worth a dollar. Moving into the in, uh, moving into the story, uh, some of the locations that we go to is you see one at the beginning, which is Trom. Then we've got the Legion of Superheroes HQ, and then there's another place, Titan. The cast of characters it didn't come across clear in any way, uh, of course in their appearances, but it still wouldn't hurt just to have some of their names beside them so it's easier for new readers to know who they are to which i gave the story at um, to which i gave the story zero out of ten to which i believe the overall total for this one's review in the fool's gold is a dollar like i said if you really want to pick up some really good brian michael bendis uh, pick up his powers run to start off a United States versus Murdering, the United States of Murdering, cover all by Brian Michael Bendis, or part of his Jinx World. I would recommend all of that over this. Well, until then, please don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you enjoy the content. Until then, let's keep it colourful. If you've now made it to the end of end of the video, have an awesome day. Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another Fool's Gold review. And as you can see on the left hand side, this is how I rate my system. As I rate the, rate the cover, the art and the story. And this is how much each story, or how much I've paid for each of them. In regards to the currency conversion, as you can see, one is $3.99 and the other one is $5.99. The $3.99 one being $7.15 Australian, and I'll also point out how much I believe. That story is worth as well with the $5.99, which is $10.75 Australian. So to get started, let's start off with Batman vs. Superman issue 2 by Jean Lu Yuang. Now moving into the cover, does this cover really help bring out what happens within the story? Surprisingly, it does. So, let's move into the internal art before I give the rating for the cover art, and also the internal art. So, let's start with some art at the beginning. This is some amazing art at the beginning of the story. I'll now move to some art in the middle. As you can see, the art is reasonably consistent. In some places. And I'll now move to some of the art towards the end. I must admit, I was really impressed with some of the places where this story went to. It did really help 
with the story itself. So time to move for what rating I gave the cover. For out of 10, I gave it 7 out of 10, to which I believe it was worth it, and it certainly showed in introspect of some of the stuff that was happening within the story. In other words, no false advertising there. Moving into the internal art, there were some areas which I really enjoyed within the art where it felt consistent, but there were also some areas where it felt it lacked a little bit of consistency. To which I gave the art 6 out of 10, to which I believe it was worth $1.25. But what about the story? Okay, as you know, I like to look out for certain things when I'm reading through my stories. Location and cast. Of course there are other things, but because this, this is on a fool's gold event, um, I do like to include other things as like time. Um, but because this is being covered in an event, I am temporarily removing that until I do bring in fool's gold the way it's meant to be used so in locations we got gotham we got the gotham a gotham hospital we also ended up going to one of the bat caves in the east end with batman and superman which was really nice we also got to go to metropolis and see some of the footage there as well as Blackgate Penitentiary Prison. The cast was made up, of course, Batman, Superman. Uh, there were some Sentinels that did make an, their appearance in this, as well as some other villains connected to Professor Pig. I really enjoyed how this story was brought across by Jean, Jean Yang, as it was very clear in its delivery as to where they were taking the story. So, for the story rating, I gave it 6 out of 10, to which I believe it was worth $1.25. Um, if you want to pick up some other Yang titles, uh, which he has also worked on at DC, he did do some work on the Terrifics uh, towards the end of the run and I recommend you go pick that up. So time to move on to Dark Detective. As we move on to Dark Detective, um, I want to point out that this comic has two stories in it. So I'll be moving on to the last story first before I address the second, uh, before I address the main story. To which I will be rating the second story on the R and story. As well as addressing some of the cast and locations that it's taken in. Now this is some of the R at the beginning of the story. I'll now move to some of the R around the middle. And then finally the end. This was really good. Um, as I enjoyed the R in this. And this is around the middle. I will now move to towards the end. Alright. And this is towards the end. Alright. As you can see, the eye in this was pretty consistent. And it stayed consistent. And it really worked well with the story. To which I gave the art 7 out of 10. To which I believe it's worth $1.50. As for the story itself, um, we have the cast of characters of Red Hood, Ravager, who is the daughter of Deathstroke. Then we had Peacekeeper Free, and there was another Peacekeeper. Again, uh, the art sort of slipped a bit again, as I was unable to make out if the Peacekeeper that was with Peacekeeper 3 was either 13 or 18. Same problem again, which shouldn't be there, but was still there. 
Um, clear it up, DC. I mean it. Clear it up. The location to which this takes place is in Gotham. In this, we also encounter someone called the White Rabbit, which was really interesting, and it really helped the story and plot in this. To which, in the last issue around, the last issue that covered Red Hood, Jason Todd, who is Red Hood, was put on a bit of a wanted list because he was actually trying to do what a hero does. And he ends up falling into a bit of a trap. That trap gets set and the White Rabbit makes their appearance and tries to harm someone in the way. And Jason's sort of like, no, don't do that. Oh, we can't do that. We want to keep them alive because they'll require information. To which I gave the story rating a 6 out of 10, to which I believe it was worth $1.25. Fantastic job. I enjoyed this. and I, uh, It's enough to get me interested to pick up the Future State Gotham run, which will be coming out. Um, I didn't think it would, but surprisingly it did. So, is this the end of Future State? Time will tell. Time to move on to the first story within this book, and it's racing. Now we finally move into the main story, to which, does this cover help drive the internal story? Surprisingly, this time it really did, and I don't know what Tamaki did this time, but it really helped with the cover and the scripting as well for in the internal art. Um, including the story, I'm, af I'm afraid to say. I didn't quite enjoy the last couple of issues, but this one seemed to make up where some of the other issues she'd written on improved. Um, okay, you're going to find some you enjoy, and you're going to find some you don't enjoy. This happens. So, I gave the, sto um, I gave the cover art... I'll, I'll actually, I'll save the rating for the, co the cover art and move into the internal art before I give the rating for both. So, let's start at the art around the beginning of the story. Now, this is some of the art around the beginning of the story. I'll now move to some art around the middle. This is some art around the middle. And now finally to move to the art around the end. And this is some of the art around the end. So, the rating for the cover is 7 out of 10. To which I believe it was worth $1.50. The internal art also received 7 out of 10. To which I believe it was worth $1.50. Now, moving into the story. How did it work with the story? With some of the locations that we encountered in here, there was ma the Magistrate's HQ. But apart from that, it still needs to bring in clarity more in regards to the locations to which Batman is going. It, it needs to be shown. Um, even if it's just pointed out in bold print like it was at the beginning of the story. It would not go astray. In fact, it would help the story. Uh, of the cast of characters that were in it, we've got Peacekeeper 01, and of course, Batman himself being Bruce Wayne. This story improved quite a bit as we got to see some of the things that Batman was investigating and where some of his investigations were taking to. Or taking uh, where it came from before to the present. And of course it ends up in this end fight. To which Batman has a bit of a time limit to beat. 
before something goes off. I enjoyed the risk that was taken in the story, as it really helped build up, I think, each character, uh, Batman and Peacekeeper, to which I gave the story a total of 6 out of 10, to which I believe it's worth a dollar. 25. Now the total for the second story was $2.75 and the total for this story is $4.25. The total for the previous one that was reviewed is $4. Um, I believe this actually made up a little over half but not a full half. Of how much the actual book was worth. So now to um, now to end things off, uh, I want to give a big thanks to all those who have been watching these reviews. And until then, please don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until then, let's keep it colourful. If you've now made it to the end of the video. Have yourself an awesome day.